Hello there and welcome everyone to this seventh part in this video tutorial series about the Win32 API. So uh, in the previous part we worked with the message box dialog and in this part we're going to study about uh, dialogues in detail. Um, so first we're going to work with uh, modeless dialogues and then the modal dialogues. So a dialog box is actually a window which is a child of, of the main parent window which pops up to show some message or some other stuff on the screen or you can alter settings using, using a dialog box. So I'll just give you an example. Um, first uh, example will be the message box. So um, like I press exit and this box pops up. So this is actually a dialog box. It displays a message and it has a couple of controls on it. <coughs> so um, now uh, when you see the message box is open, you can, uh, cannot actually work with the rest of the window. The main, the, the main parent window, you cannot work with it unless you deal with the dialog first. So I'll first close the dialog box and now I can uh, do some actions on the window. So this type of dialog box which <coughs> does not allow you to work with the parent window um, when it, uh, it's open is called a modal dialog box. Uh, but there is another type of dialog box which is a uh, modeless dialog box like this one here. And this dialog box it's open and I can still work with the window. I can type some text here. So this is, uh, this is a modeless dialog box. So we'll uh, in this video we'll learn about uh, how to create both of these dialog boxes. Now the next thing you know, need to know is um, dialog boxes are also windows. So the procedure to create a dialog box is actually um, same as you create a window. But the only thing different here um, here is that uh, you need to specify the dialog box as a child of the parent window, and rest of the stuff will remain same. Even dialogs also have the window procedures of their own. So we need to define a window procedure for the dialog as well. So, um, if you uh, forgot how to create a window, you can go to the first part where I explain all this code, where we create a main parent window. So, just like we created this parent window, uh, we'll um, create the dialog box. So, we'll do that do that, uh, do that in a separate function. So, I'll call this, sorry, void. Uh, I'll call this uh, register dialog class because um, uh, this function will only uh, create a new dialog class and register it so that we can use it later on. So just like we um, here we created the window class and then we uh, initialize some stuff and then we uh, register it. Uh, similar way we, ne we need to do all that for the dialog and that will be done by this function. So I'll just change all of this code. dialog and so uh, the uh, background of the dialog same and the cursor present inside the dialog so whenever the cursor will be inside the dialog it will be idc cross so it will be of the shape cross <coughs> we'll not use the standard cursor and then there's the edge instance of the application which we need to specify to create the dialog but currently we do not have any edge instance variable here so we need uh, this function to accept an edge instance whenever it is called so we can pass the instance of our application uh, uh, as an argument to this function when it is being called and it will be specified here and then there's the name of the dialog class so we'll call it my dialog class and then the procedure of the dialog we need to define the procedure window procedure for the dialog so I'll And the uh, with this did did this in first part, and um, if you forgot, you can actually watch that video again. So the first the window handler of the um, window to which this uh, procedure belongs to, so that is the uh, dialog class actually. So this I specify the dialog procedure, and then the next argument message and w parameter and and there is a dialog procedure and we'll switch the message uh, we've done all this stuff and default will return a pre previously defined um, window procedure to um, handle all the stuff to handle all the message that we have not actually handled here so the default message handling a procedure And we can also define a message for uh, a case for WM close. 
so then we can uh, destroy window hwnd so um, this window handler belongs to the dialog box because it, this procedure belongs to the dialog box so that means uh, the dialog box will be closed whenever this wm closes messages being passed inside it mm, and the next thing uh, moving on um, we have a window procedure for the dialog and but we have not yet um, have a, we do not yet have a prototype for this function to call it so i'll go above here and uh, i'll add a prototype for this function here so that it can be called throughout the file and after having the prototype we can actually call this function now so after we have registered the window class we can register the dialog class Regi sorry And the argument is edge instance, so edge instance uh, is present inside this um, main function. It has been passed as an argument, so we can pass it directly onto the um, register dialog class function. And so that will register the dialog class, and this function, uh, this function will be the um, dialog procedure procedure for the uh, dialog box. And the next thing, um, the dialog box. Uh, okay, okay, actually forgot to remove this all the stuff here. Um, so we don't need any checking and the uh, ALG dialog. Um, so we'll register the dialog class here actually. So after the dialog class has been registered, we need to actually show up the dialog on the screen. So for that, you need to create a, create a dialog from uh, this dialog class. So we'll also have a separate function for this. So void uh, display dialog. And now we'll create the dialog window. Create window w, and um, so first is the class name. So that will be my, and then there is the caption text which is present as uh, as the top of the window, the title of the window. So dialog, and then there is the style. So ws visible is obvious, and ws Sorry, overlap window. These both are obvious. Uh, this is a default type of the window which uh, you see everywhere. Uh, and the next argument is uh, the uh, x and y position, which will be 400 comma 400 in terms of screen coordinates. Um, and then there's the width and height of the dialog, which I'll keep 200 and 200. And then there's the uh, window handler for the parent. Window. So the parent window of this dialog box is actually the main window. So for that we need a window handler. So we can modify this function to accept a window handler whenever this is being called. So we'll pass the handler of the parent window through this. And the next argument, the H menu, H instance, and an L parameter will keep all three of these null, just like we did for the uh, pa um, while creating the parent window. So this will actually uh, display the dialog on the screen now. And now we need to find a suitable place from where to call this dialog. Before that, we need a prototype for this as well. So um, I'll go up here and I'll def uh, declare a prototype for this display dialog function. And now we can call it throughout the file. Uh, and now um, we have already registered re registered the dialog class before we created the window. And now uh, we can actually do one thing that uh, this wm create message of the main window procedure, the procedure of the main window. Uh, this is called whenever the window is first created and we can actually uh, call the display dialog function from here because we also have the window handler of the main parent window here inside this procedure um, so we can call this from here so um, uh, so we can call this from here um, th this way actually when the window is first created the dialog box will be displayed with the window and so we can actually check this by running and uh, building and running our application so there we go, We uh, the window is displayed on the screen and so is the dialog box and the, you can see the cursor it has is of the type cross because we specified it that way. Um, and it is a modeless dialog box by default because we can still work with the window, you can see this. Um, uh, and um, so the next thing, uh, now um, we'll add some control to the dialog box because uh, you can see that. Um, uh, I can close this from this button, but uh, we'll now add some control to the dialog box, which we can do from the same place where we display the dialog. And so I'll add a button. So, sorry, create window W, and the class is 
button and the text printer inside the button will be close and the DW style will be window style um, sorry uh, just we define the buttons up here uh, like uh, uh, there it was we create a button visible child and bitmap uh, so we need visible and child while creating button so so visible and child for the button and this is child of the dialogue uh, this dialogue um, and the next argument is the um, xy position which will keep 20 and 20 and width will be 100 and height will be 40 um, and then there is the window header for the parent containing window so the parent its parent window is actually this dialog uh, which we just created here because it will it will be present inside this dialog so we need a handler for to specify for this dialog so hwnd h dlg so this will be the handler for this dialog because this function returns um, create window function returns a handler to the um, window that it created so this will be the handle for the dialog and then the next argument is uh, the edge menu which you can use to specify the I identity for the dialog the id so edge will cast to edge menu type and will use the number one as the id for this dialog box um, we, we used constants earlier but we need, do not need to uh, do all that stuff right now you can um, use that in your application but uh, i'll just keep it short and i'll just define an integer constant um, so parent menu and the rest two arguments will keep null so this is this should create a button inside the dialog inside the dialog box and we can build in them to check if this is working and so there is the dialog box and there it has a button called close but it does nothing so um, we need to make I need to make this button do something so we will we'll go to dialog procedure and we'll add the wm command case here and now we'll switch the w parameter uh, we need to uh, we learn how to handle this um, these buttons in previous parts so if you forgot you can check check those so case one because the one is the identity of the button so that in that case that when the button is pressed will sorry we'll call the destroy window function and we'll destroy the uh, dialog when this close button is pressed because its identity is one so now our button will do stuff so now whenever the close button is pressed the dialog will be closed and uh, it uh, looks weird that the dialog pop pops up with the window when whenever the window is first displayed so we need to change that so we'll, what we'll do is we'll um, display the dialog box whenever this new menu item is pressed so we need to change the place from where we are calling this um, display dialog function so we're calling it whenever the window is first created but we'll remove it uh, and we'll go here to the um, wm command message and we were switching the w parameters so this is the case which actually is called whenever the uh, uh, file menu exit button is pressed and below this menu new button is pressed so uh, when uh, like you see here new here this button is pressed whenever this button is pressed um, this code is called so we can actually put this here so whenever this button is pressed the dialog will be displayed on the screen so now we can check that so you can see the dialog is not with the window on the screen so but whenever you press this new menu item the dialog will be displayed here with the sound because the sound is being produced from this message uh, sorry sound is being pro produced from this function um, so uh, this is how we um, did that stuff and the next thing is um, that if you look at this dialog um, you can you can still work with the window so that means this dialog box is uh, more uh, is more less dialog box so if you want a model dialog box like uh, whenever this dialog box is open you cannot uh, you should uh, you should uh, you're not going to allow the user to work with this main window so for that you need to disable the parent window whenever these dialog boxes here so that will that is done through a function actually so this display dialog whenever this function is called that means the dialog is actually being displayed so after the dialog window is created what we'll do is we'll disable the main window so that is done through the enable 
window function so the first thing is the handler of the window which we need to enable or disable so it is actually need to uh, this function is actually used to change the enabled or disabled state of a window so the first thing is the window handler of the window that needs to be enabled or disabled so this hwnd is the actual handler of the parent window because we uh, passing this uh, uh, when we calling the uh, display dialog function here this ha uh, hwnd this is the handler of the main parent window so enable window hwnd and if you pass the true as the second argument the second argument is actually boolean expression so if you pass true the, then the window will be enabled but we need to disable it uh, so we'll pass false and this will disable the window so this will make a dialog box more uh, more uh, model so here the dialog box is displayed and now i cannot work with the window because this pin, this window has been disabled so we, I need to first deal with the dialog box and then I can work with uh, that but there this problem arises that uh, I close the dialog box but uh, I'm still not able to work with this window so that is because we disable this window but uh, we did not enable it back so we need to find a suitable place to call a fun this function again to enable the window so that will be whenever the dialog box is closed or destroyed so in the dialog procedure here the destroy window destroys the dialog so here from here I can actually enable the window so I'll just set this to true but the problem here arises that this window handler is not of um, the handler of the dialog this window handler is actually the handler of sorry this window handler is not the handler of the parent window but this was the handler of the dialog so this will enable the um, dialog box not the parent window so that is a problem here here we need a window handler to the main parent window at this place so um, we need to create a window handler so we'll create a window handler when we create this window inside in the global scope so where we define our window handlers here and uh, I'll add main window so uh, and we'll set this variable equal to this so this function when whenever the main parent window is created a window handler for that window will be returned and it will be stored inside this variable and now we can use this from the global scope and uh, whenever we want so um, here when I call the enable window now the argument is true that means this window will be enabled so that is uh, edge main window so this window will now be enabled whenever the di dialog box is uh, being destroyed and we also need to enable it from this wm close message and whenever the dialog box is closed uh, using the cross button or whenever the dialog box is closed using the close button which we created inside it so and window will be enabled because the argument is true this time and I will build and run this to check if this is working and so here's the dialog and now the dialog and now that the dialog is on the screen I cannot work with the window but when I close it I can work with the window uh, and uh, if you want to check the other way around um, if I close this dialog box using the close button uh, I can still work with the window so the, we have now success, successfully created a modal dialog box so we now know, uh, know how to create modal as well as modeless dialog box and so this this is all for this part but uh, if you want to learn more about dialogs uh, they are um, you can use dialog boxes to uh, do various stuff like uh, open files into your program uh, like this one here I'll go file and new and empty file and these are all the dialog boxes uh, um, just like um, you have in various of your applications so like I can go file open and this is a dialog box which uh, will help you open files into your program so we'll uh, learn about how to create all these dialog box in the upcoming parts so till then stay tuned and thanks for watching